Okay, here's our progress so far. Still got a few more we got to transplant. Lemongrass, the banana peppers, tomatoes. These look sad, but I think they're just, they're shocked. I think they're gonna come back. This is your uh, zucchini squash. Strawberry patch. Sage. Of course, all these are gonna get big. They're gonna have to get transplanted and moved. Should be a pretty easy way to move them. Rosemary. Lunchbox peppers. Lunchbox. Lavender. Smells amazing. Already budding. I believe oregano. Sweet basil. Basil, basil. Beautiful dill here. And then we have a mosquito plant here, citronella. Let's see how our filter's doing. Nice and clean stuff. There it is. Coming together. Imagine life without problems. Yeah, Imagine life a little more simple. Imagine life outdoors. Imagine life with family. Okay, so as far as I know, there's one carp waiting for us. We're gonna go over there. Hold on, come here, come here. And we're gonna try to get him because we have to have him for our our pond. So, here we go. You're stuck? Are they gonna live? I don't have an aerator. Hey, listen, let him go. We'll catch him again. They'll be back. They're not going anywhere. We need to go get the aerator from home. There's a snake den somewhere over here. A lot of bait fish this time. A ton of bait fish. Oi! We gotta keep them no matter what. They're good for bait. Why do we let them go? Oi, look what I found! A ton of bait fish. Good job, buddy.
Give it to Ruthie. Jace's the first fish by himself. <laughs> He's just a little bit excited. It's the only net I got. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this net? I'm bringing him to you. Wait, Chase, wait. Wait, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ruthie here. Ruthie! Put it in the cooler, go. All right, stay on the ground, keep it on the ground, and push forward. All right, good job. All right, put them in a the cooler. Let the water flow over it. Girl having fun. Here, put them in the cooler so they don't die. Oh, they're jumping, hurry up. Put the net like that, upside down like that. All right, close it, watch out. That gives them oxygen. You don't want too much oxygen though. Okay, bunch it up down here, put it over the cooler. You heard me? Yeah. Alright, there's like a million. Go get them. That one's dead, but we'll keep it for bait. We're gonna try to release these at our house. Alright, I'm pushing the fish up to you. Guys, look at this. Oh my goodness, they're pouring over. There's so many. All right, all right, let's get them home. All right, come here. Too many bait fish. All right, they're gonna die. All right, all you gotta do is go in the waterfall. Scrape it against the waterfall. A water park. Here, all right, all right, come here. No. Let's take him. He looks like he's been injured, but he's fine. Told him he'll fine. Oh, Daddy, I saw a snake slither in the bushes right here. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like kind of snake.
because I saw it last minute. Okay, wait. Come on, come on. That carp is most important. We need it to eat the algae. Okay, we got all the shad in here. Probably about 400. Right, Ori? Yeah. I don't know how many will live. Ruthie's got a big one. Go. Right. We gotta go. Put your shoes back there. Dolphin. Ruthie, come on. Dolphin. You got a fish? Keep your fish. Jace, get in. Jace, get on back. Okay. Hurry, Jace! Hurry, Jace! Rolling up to the aquaponic system. Always staying on it. Come on, guys. This guy's important first. Come here. It's you ready? Me. What's yes. up, Jake? Hold on. All right. We'll see how many survive. It looks like all of them Oh, no. That one did. What did? See. That one. They might get shocked because the temperature is different, but it still feels cool. We'll see what happens. Oh, let's go get the monster fish. All right, let's get that monster fish. Get this net. Dad, be careful. He's off. I'm not touching his gills. Just a gill plate. There he is, you ready? Okay, don't lean on the plates, on the plants. All right, he's gonna get acclimated real quick. He might get real tough right now, I don't know, fast, or he might just slowly get acclimated. Dad, he's a fat No, buddy, he's a, he's, a, he's a poor man's koi. He's my koi. There he went, you see him? Yep. He will suck all this algae, guys. He will clean this up. Now, he might suck the roots off my plants. I gotta keep an eye out. But let's go see if we can find him. He's in here. Did we get all the fish? Everybody good? No, he went this way. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's the cart. Where'd he go? He's right there. He's right there. They like that. It's air for them, everything else. So he's gonna, he'll do good. He'll be eating food, koi food and fish food. He's gonna be just fine. He's gonna create a lot of waste, which is gonna give these plants what they need. Ooh, we need. Daddy, look, that dad eaten. How'd it happen so fast? I've got no clue. He just got it half eaten? Yeah. Oh, the catfish. Catfish is swimming around. They love shad. They do? Yes. Catfish is having a great time right now. This is natural food. Let's go get more. Oh my goodness, look at them. It's just a big feast over here, guys. Oh, look at the turtle. He's gonna like the shad too. He went under. That is cool. This is becoming a very much live wildlife ecosystem with natural plants and food and we'll see how many we can keep alive okay we'll stay we'll stay with you on the journey we won't give up easy i'll try not to get frustrated stuff's already eating stuff out here look at that yeah where but i think we did pretty good it was it was a little bit rough on them but i don't think it was terrible what do you think Roy? That's what I'm thinking, right here. What do you think the goldfish are thinking of all this? Um, they think it's they're back in the wild or something? No, they're, they're, they've never been out in the wild. They were bred in, in a Petco warehouse. That is so cool. That's too cool right here. 
I finally feel like we have a good amount of fish in here. Just because we hit nice bait fish, if we ever want some bait fish, we can use it. Um, yep, take it right out of here, raise them. As long as the water temperature is good, I mean, I don't know. I think they just get acclimated. That one wants to live, it really does. But right now, if there was a bass in there, which there is, he's gonna eat that thing alive. Oh, our bass ought to love this, huh? And look, even though when I was upside down, it's starting to flip back over. He wants to be better. Oh, oh, look, crappie came out too. The crappie came out to play. What do you think they were? Oh, and the carp is right here. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is sick. This is a wildlife sanctuary. Can't touch them. I can't reach them because all this pipe. I used to be able to. Just want to touch you one more time. Oh, you're cool. Go ahead, buddy. Act like a sucker fish. Oh, and the bass came to play. Everybody came to play right now. Oh my, everybody likes this, these fish. Oh, look at the goldfish. Look at them. Look at them. How pretty. That is so cool. I think the bass is feeding. He's been swimming through. Okay, so day. I don't know how long we had to put together. Not even, not even a week. We got a little schmutz here. Hold on. I mean, I've had the pull up for I think a couple weeks. I got I to look and see. My days are running together, but we just put all these plants in. We just completed yesterday. Just put these in right here. These little floats, or one of them. Still gonna do a few more here, so everything looks like a uh, aquaponics construction around here. But we just put in, I'm guessing, that we put in every bit of three or 400 hundred fish. Could be 500 fish in here that we caught at our spillway. And, uh, Saw the bass eating. Oh yeah, we got we caught a nice sized carp. He's a good carp. He's not huge, but he's going to be good uh, for this tank. He's going to eat some of the bottom, some of the solids. He's going to eat the moss and the plant matter that is not welcome, like algae and such. He might start sucking on these roots. I don't know. Uh, let me look. We don't want to start seeing roots missing like you're seeing so you know they eat grass stuff like this you know I don't, I don't think they're gonna eat these leaves so of course we want to get these out but they'll eat grass and algae and just anything you know duckweed I'd like to have I wouldn't mind having a little bit of duckweed in here but the problem is, is it, it, the water moves so I think by the time it gets there it'll get drowned and it'll die I think it needs stagnant water uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'd like to have some lily pads growing out of the middle here. Cut that ugly on the top and just leave that for turtles and anything else to to perch. I'd like to put a pretty piece of wood right there. So I thought about putting the sirens in here and the small turtles, but I would hate for them to get eaten by the catfish and the bass. So it's starting to look good. I'm happy with it. This is it's like having a giant fish tank and a garden super fun maybe one day I'll, I'll raise tilapia for food and I might get to that but for now it's a hobby it's fun I need fish in here to feed these plants and I need these plants to feed the fish symbiotic relationship whatever you want to call it living organism ecosystem it's all of it I like it. Show them the, fit, the bait we have. Bait! Bait! So these didn't make it. I don't know how many, but I'm sure it's like a hundred. And this is going to be bait for catfish and whatever else. Boom. Shad, everybody wants Shad. Say piece. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank subscribe. You. Subscribe. Like it. Like hit it. that like. Say hit, hit that like. Hit that hit bell. bell. Ask me. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. We're on. We're having fun.